Hey guys, and welcome back to Caribbean Tunes. In this series, we are looking at the chemistry syllabus. We are at section A, and today we're doing 3.6 and 3.7, and that is going to be isotopes and isotopy. So we're going to define these two words, give examples of each, and then look at radioactive isotopes and their uses. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before you get into this video is understand what exactly isotopes are. So an isotope is an atom or atoms of the same element that have different mass numbers. And this difference in mass numbers is as a result of an increase or a decrease in the number of neutrons in their nucleus. For example, we have chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Uh, chlorine 35 has two less neutrons than chlorine 37, so we say that these two atoms are isotopes. They are the same element, however, they are isotopes of that element. So we're going to just look at some properties of isotopes before we give the examples. So we know that isotopes have different mass numbers. So that's the first property that we're going to write. We're going to say they have different mass numbers. And this difference in mass numbers is as a result of an increase or decrease in the number of neutrons in their nucleus. So we know that they also have different numbers of neutrons. Neutrons are the only subatomic particles that are affecting these isotopes. The number of protons remains the same, which means their atomic number also remains the same. So we have the same number of protons or the same um, atomic number. They will have the same number of electrons as well. So the electron number remains the same. Okay, so the two main properties that we're going to talk about now are chemical and physical properties. Because these two isotopic atoms are part of the same element, they have the same chemical properties. Chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 will have the same chemical properties as each other because they are both the chlorine element. So we say that isotopes share the same chemical properties. The other property that we're going to look at is physical property. Because these isotopes have different mass numbers, different numbers of neutrons in their nucleus, they will have different uh, physical properties. So isotopes have different physical properties. Okay, great. So just to recap, the properties of isotopes includes the different number of neutrons in the nucleus, which gives rise to a different mass number in both isotopic atoms. They have the same atomic number, same number of protons, same number of electrons, the same chemical properties, but different physical properties. So the example of isotopes that we're going to be looking at today is chlorine, and we're going to look at the two isotopes of chlorine, which will be chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. We're going to look at percentage abundance, number of electrons, mass number, number of protons, uh, number of neutrons in each of these isotopes. Chlorine 35 has a percentage abundance of 75. So chlorine 35's approximate abundance in Earth's atmosphere is 75%. The mass number of chlorine 35 is 35. Remember the mass number is written on the top left corner of the chlorine atom. So we say the mass number is 35, which means that the sum of the protons and neutrons in this atom nucleus is 35. The atomic number of chlorine 35 is 17. Atomic number is written on the bottom left corner of the element symbol. Atomic number is 17. The number of electrons is 17. Number of protons is 17. And the number of neutrons that you have is 18. So we can see how we get our mass number of 35. 
our number of neutrons is 18 and our number of protons is 17 at these and you get 35. So the mass number is a sum of the number of neutrons and protons, in this case chlorine 35, mass number is 35. Chlorine 37 has an approximate abundance of 25% in our Earth's atmosphere. So chlorine 37 has a 25% abundance. The mass number of chlorine 37 is 37. Atomic number is 17. Number of electrons. Remember that the atomic number doesn't change because the number of protons doesn't change. Regardless, if it's an, even if it's an isotope, the number of protons doesn't change. What makes it an isotope is the change in the number of neutrons in the nucleus. So the atomic number remains the same. So the atomic number of chlorine 37 isotope is 17. Number of electrons is still 17. Number of protons is still 17. However, the number of neutrons is now 20. So we can see that the sum of the protons and neutrons, 17 plus 20, gives the mass number for chlorine 37. All right, so that's an example of an isotope. Chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Now we're going to look at radioactive isotopes or radioisotopes and give some uses of them. So for the benefits of understanding a little bit of what radioactive isotopes are, I'm just going to list a few properties just to get your understanding a little bit clearer. So some properties of radioactive isotopes include isotopes. So they are atoms or the nucleus really of these isotopes. They release particles and radiation to become stable. Okay, so properties of radioactive isotopes include the fact that they are that's, that they are atoms or nu the nuclei of isotopes. They are unstable and they release particles and radiation to become stable. Okay, so we're going to look at some uses of these radioactive isotopes. One of these is carbon-14, which is used to date animal or plant remains. Tell me how old they are. So this is carbon-14, and it's used for dating, so we call it carbon-14 dating. It's also used for cancer treatment, and we use cobalt-60 for this process. So cobalt-60. Cancer treatment or radiotherapy. Radioactive isotopes can help with energy generation or electricity generation by using uranium 235, which is radioactive. So we say electricity generation or energy generation with uranium 235. Also, in the medical industry, we can use these radioactive isotopes as tracers, for example, iodine-141 or carbon-14 as tracers to help, to help monitor the function of different parts of the body. So as a tracer, we have iodine-147. This is mainly used in the thyroid gland. To maintain to monitor iodine content and radioactive carbon 14. Another very important use of radioisotopes is in the use of heart pacemakers, where we use plutonium 238, which helps to power the battery in these pacemakers for a person's lifetime. So that's heart pacemakers which use plutonium-238. Plutonium. Okay, great. So we have just covered isotopes and isotopy. We can do a brief recap. Properties of isotopes include different mass numbers, different numbers of neutrons, same number of electrons, same number of protons, 
same atomic number, different physical properties, same chemical properties. An example of an isotope is chlorine 35 and 37. Chlorine 35 has 18 neutrons in its nucleus and chlorine 37 has 20 neutrons in its nucleus, which makes them isotopes. Radioactive isotopes are isotopes that are unstable. Their nucleus seeks to emit particles and radiation in order to regain that stability. And in doing this process, they can actually form atoms of different kinds of elements. Some uses of radioactive isotopes include carbon-14 dating, cobalt-60 cancer treatment, plutonium-238 used in the batteries of heart pacemakers, tracers such as iodine-141 and carbon-14, as well as energy generation from uranium-235. So that ends this video, guys.